Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg here. And a question I get a lot is, hey, where did you get that cool avatar that you made for Twitter? And I actually use it for YouTube and for bulletin boards and all that stuff. So in this video, I'm gonna show you. The name of the site that I got it from is faceyourmanja.com, faceyourmanja.com. When you get to the home page, you choose what country you want, what language you want, um, in my case, English, and you enter the site. And it's pretty straightforward. Basically, you uh, are, are going to create your face. Um, you do have to register for the site, and they call it a manjatar instead of an avatar, a manjatar. And once you click on that face your manja, you hit the create button, and it's several steps. The first thing you do is choose whether you're a male or female, and there's some loading in between, you know, that, that takes time, but um, it loads rather quickly. You can choose from a variety of faces. Um, you know, if you have a round face, a square face, a fat face, a thin face, um, whatever type of face you want, you know, you can pick the one that closest resembles you. And then you can, you know, pick your skin color tone as well. Um, lines you can add in as well, uh, whether you have wrinkles, you know, in certain places or scars or things like that. When you want to clear them, you just hit the X. Um, you know, moles and things like that you can add as well. Uh, whether you have a beard or a goatee, in my case a goatee, uh, you can add that. You can add, a, you know, scruff. You can add a full beard. There's a million different options. Whether you have sideburns, let's add those in as well. And again, then you can go with the eyes. You can do the shape of your eyes. You can choose the eye color uh, as well. You can really customize a lot with this thing. You can choose the eyebrow type that you have whether it's a thin one or a thick one or a unibrow. Uh, again, nose, choose your nose type. That's a little bit big, a little bit too pointy. Uh, it's like a pig nose, I don't even know. Maybe that one. Then you can choose your mouth, whether you want to be smiling or not. Um, ears, pick the type of ears. You can do Spock ears, big ears, little ears. Those are kind of Spock ears too. Then you do your hair, whether you have short hair or long hair. See, in my instance, I have long hair. So you can pick the type. Not that long. <laughs> that looks like, I don't even want to say what that looks like. Uh, so that's the hair I'm using in my avatar right now. And then you can change the color if you want. You know, you can give yourself yellow hair or black hair, whatever. And then you can dress your, um, your avatar up. And there's a bunch of different things, not a lot of choices, but you can do, you know, clothes, um, shirts, jackets. You can choose the color of the stripes on the shirt that you're wearing. You can throw a jacket on top of that if you want. You can do a tie. Um, you have to pick the tie first, and then the check color stripes. Then you can add in other items like a hat um, if you want. Baseball hat. You can of course again change the color of that as well. Uh, let's choose that color. You can put a scarf on, put a dog collar. The scarf's kind of cool. You can change the color of the scarf. It's got a little F for the thing, for the, the site. There's little logos. Um, I don't think you have to not be doing certain things to use that. So I can't use that right now. And I think you can actually write, but again, I think that it doesn't let you do it when you're, I haven't figured that out yet, what you have to remove in order to actually use this. Um, so that's stuff. Um, or that was uh, rather close. There's more stuff you can add, like glasses. If you want to do glasses on yourself, uh, you know, other marks, necklaces. You want your ear pierced. You want your other things pierced. <laughs> I don't know what. You want a face tattoo like Mike Tyson. You can add that on. You can add gadgets in, um, like peace sign, thumbs up, popcorn, which is kind of cool. Uh, there's also masks if you want to hide your face, you can do that. Um, or an eye patch, which is kind of interesting. And you can do the background as well. There's themes on here, so you can be like at the beach, or at night, or in the mountains. And then there's makeup, where you can actually like draw, I think, on um, your character. I haven't really done this one all that much yet. But, let's see, am I getting makeup on there? I think I am. Choose the one you want. It changes the color, I think. Let's see. Yeah, I haven't played with the makeup one too much, but 
in any event, so when you're all done, you hit finish, and it tells you you're about to download it, and it's irreversible, you can't change it or anything like that, and then you enter in your nickname and your email address, and the avatar actually gets emailed to you, okay, and when you get it in your inbox, you're able to save it and, uh, you know, use it for a variety of different websites, anything you want. There is a PayPal donate button on here, it's completely free, but, you know, I always support things like this, this is an awesome site, the, the ability to create your own you know, avatar and really customize it is really neat. So that's face your manga or manga, I don't know how they pronounce it, dot com. And uh, once you actually have it stored in there, you can um, view all the other ones that people have created. And if you log in, you're able to see uh, ones that you created in the past. Let me refresh this page, it's not liking me right now. Won't let me log in for some reason. I guess maybe this is a Safari problem with Flash, but it's not letting me log in. But on Firefox, I was able to log in and see my, you know, saved avatars, and you can see other people's ones as well, and you can rate them. Really fun. So that's FaceYourManja.com for everyone who asks about it. Check it out. Go there. It's free. Make a fun little character for yourself, and uh, have a great day.